Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video. This will probably be my last video of fatty acid vesicles under the microscope because if you've seen one fatty acid vesicle, you've seen them all pretty much. Um, I have learned two things so far. First off, it is fairly easy to create fatty acid vesicles and view them under the microscope. <laughs> uh, secondly, I've learned so about something known as chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration happens because light rays passing through a lens are sometimes refracted at different angles. This results in the color of an, the image being distorted or an image showing color where there is none. Uh, I am convinced that this is what happened with my last video. Uh, in my last video I showed two vesicles, a smaller one inside of a larger one. The smaller one looked purple and uh, I believe that this was the result of chromatic aberration and not of any hematoxylin stained nucleic acids like I had originally thought um, because this newest uh, and last video of fatty acid vesicles is of a simple fatty acid solution mixed with distilled water and as you can see there are more purple vesicles inside of the, the larger ones since I did not add any, any hematoxylin stain this time, it can't be that the smaller vesicles are stained and is likely to due to chromatic aberration. Um, in future videos, I will be exploring other topics such as possible mechanisms by which organic chemicals themselves could have been formed by the very simple chemicals of the early earth. And my next project will probably be experimenting with nucleotide formation and I won't be doing any more microscope videos. It will be simply uh, chemistry um, experiments. And it will be how the uh, atmospheric gases and other compounds of the early Earth could have given rise to the nucleotide bases of RNA because scientists have uh, hypothesized that uh, RNA was the first genetic material. Uh, anyway, so if you like my video, um, hit the like button and if you want to subscribe, then uh, do so. Thanks for watching. Bye.